Good morning, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are fine and having a good and quality time with your family. I welcome you in your online lesson, and this is your Islamiyat lesson. And today's topic is the birth of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This topic is mentioned on your Islamiyat textbook, page number forty-four till forty-eight. And today, what you are going to do is. Today you are going to do the assessment on your Islamiyat notebook, and this assessment carries ten marks. Okay, I am telling you again that this assessment carries ten marks. So you have to be very careful. While I am going to discuss all the important points of this chapter, okay. So in as you know that in our previous lessons and in our previous week we have discussed this chapter thoroughly, and we have read this chapter. So we are going to do the discussion of the important points, so you can do your assessment easily, and all the important points would be clear in your mind before doing the assessment. So first of all, we will see that what is today's learning objective. So as you can see on the screen, your learning objective is here. Reinforcement of the topic through the written work will be done. It means that today. You are going to do the assessment, which will be checked by me, and I will see that how much information you got about this topic. So let's start it. Let's start while doing the main discussion points about the birth of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So there are some important points. Please listen to me carefully, so all the points would be clear in your mind. So you can do your assessment easily. So first one is here. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in Makkah. So it is about the born place of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that where he was born. So he was born in Makkah, and Makkah was the city of Saudi Arabia. Look at the next point. In ancient times. Arabs used to give their babies to nursemaids as a custom. So ancient means old times, when Arabs were living, while doing or while according uh, living their life according to the customs, they were having so many traditions, and one was that they were used to give their newborn babies to nursemaids. Nursemaids was ladies. Okay, they were ladies who used to live in the near villages near Mecca. Nursemaids used to come from nearby villages. Okay, my dear students, they used to come from nearby villages. So look at the next point. There was a specific reason for this happening with every newborn. What reason we are talking about? So we are talking about a reason that why do people used to give their newborn babies to nursemaids? It was not without any reason. There were some reasons. Okay, so we are going to know that what was the reason. People used to hand over their babies to nursemaids, so they could brought up in healthy and clean environment. So, my dear students, one reason is here. That people or parents of newborn babies used to give their babies to the nursemaids so they could brought up in a healthy and clean environment in the village. Name of the Holy Prophet's nursemaid was Bibi Halima Sadia Raziyallahu Taala Anha. As you know that whenever there was a newborn baby in Makkah or the near cities, so people used to give their babies to nursemaids. And Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, our holy prophet, was also given to a nursemaid. And the name of the nursemaid of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Bibi Halima Sadia Raziyallahu Taala Anha. Okay, so what happened when she was coming to Makkah? We are going to know it. She reached Makkah with the group of other nursemaids, but she was the last one who entered in Makkah due to her weak camel. So, here is the reason that why she reached Makkah with the group of other nursemaids, but she came late. 
So the reason is that her camel was not feeling well. It was so weak that it was not able to walk properly. So that's why she entered Makkah late just because of her weak camel. Very good. I hope all the points are coming in your mind and you are remembering them as we have already discussed them. Look at the next point. This point is all about the mother of Holy Prophet Can you tell me that what is the name of his mother? Yes, you are right. It is written in the beginning of this point. Bibi Amna Raziyallah Anha. Mother of Holy Prophet handed over her son to Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Anha very happily. Now can you tell me that who is Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Anha? Yes, you are right. She was the nursemaid of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Bibi Amna, the mother of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, handed over her son to Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Ta'ala Anha very happily. Look at the next point. This point is about that what happened when Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Ta'ala Anha was coming back to her village. On her way back, she noticed many signs of Allah's blessings because Hazrat Muhammad وسلم, was in her lap. So, this is all about the important signs or you can say the signs of blessings which were discussed or just noticed by Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Anha. So, there were so many important and blessings signs or blessed signs on the way she noticed when she was coming back from Makkah to her village. And just keep it in the mind that Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu was in her lap. That's why she was feeling so many blessed signs. Some blessings were these. So there were some blessings she was noticing. So now we are going to discuss that what were these. Look at the screen. Her camel was racing ahead of other camels. Yes. Do you remember? I told you that when Hazrat Halima Raziyallah Anha was coming to Makkah to take a newborn baby from his or her parents, what happened? That she came late just because of her weak camel because it was not able to move faster. But now what happened? One blessing happened to her camel that it was Racing ahead of other camels. Look at the next point. After reaching her home, her goats became healthier. This is very important point. That first of all what happened that when she was going to Makkah, her, uh, her goats were not really fine and she was no, they were not giving more milk. But now, just because of the blessing of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what happened? All the goats became healthier and started giving more milk. Look at the next point. The village became more fertile. Yes, first of all, there were no, uh, no much grass in that village. But when Hazrat Muhammad وسلم, stepped in that village, when he was in the lap of Hazrat Halima, ta'ala anha, so the village became more fertile. So that was the reason that Hazrat Halima considered Holy Prophet وسلم, a blessed child. She was considering it just because she was feeling so many blessed signs from Allah the Almighty because of Hazrat Muhammad وسلم. Hazrat Halima ta'ala anha considered him وسلم, as a blessed child. He وسلم, remained with Bibi Halima until the age of six. Then Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam returned back to his mother but she too passed away soon. Look at the next point that after the death of Hazrat Amna ta'ala anha, the mother of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who took care the responsibility of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here is the point. His 
paternal grandfather Hazrat Abdul Muttalib radiyallahu ta'ala anha took over the responsibility of his upbringing but do you know what happened after 2 years Hazrat Abdul Muttalib the grandfather of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also to also passed away so after Hazrat Muhammad uh, Hazrat Muttalib's death his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anha brought him up and he took care or you can say that who uh, he took the responsibility of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's upbringing now my dear students as i told you that this topic is mentioned on page number 44 till 48 so you can read it as well okay so you can attempt your ass- uh, assessment nicely <clears throat> and easily so these are the pages okay these are the a uh, topic pages or you can say that page number 44 46 47 and 48 are there on the screen so you can see properly okay so this is the reading we have done in the previous lesson okay i hope that now all the points are clear in your mind and i really hope that you are ready to do your assessment are you excited to do your assessment very good i knew that so first of all what you have to do is take out your islamiyat notebook from your bag and your stationery stuff so we can start today's task which is assessment haria i hope you have taken out your islamiyat notebook now please open a new page of your islamiyat notebook i hope your pencil is sharp and you have your eraser scale and your color pencil with you so we can underline the topic nicely have you very good now if you have opened the new page of islamiyat notebook what you have to do is you have to prepare your page come on now start writing your date and day so we can prepare today's page so we can do the assessment nicely i am going to tell you today is monday and date is 24th may comma 2021 and in the middle of the line at the top of the page what you are going to write is class work keep it in the mind that when you are going to write monday monday's m would be capital have you written it i'm telling you the spellings so you can write nicely m o n d a y monday then you will write down today's date it is 24th may comma 2021 may's m would be capital do not forget to put comma after writing may very good now please write down class work in the middle of the line in the middle have you done class work c would be capital as you used to do Have you done it? Can we move now? Can we start our today's assessment? Are you ready? Very good. So this is your today's assessment. After preparing your page, your page would look like this. So first of all, we will write down today's topic. Today's topic is written on the screen as you can see. Topic is the birth of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam have you written topic t would be capital and look at the screen where i have used capital letters you have to use them as it is is that clear great so topic is the birth of the birth of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam have you done it after writing the topic what you have to do is you have to take out your scale and your favorite color pencil to underline this topic just put the scale under the topic and draw a line nicely have you done it great so after writing the topic on a new line you have to write assessment as you can see the spellings are there but for your ease i am going to 
just uh, tell you the spelling so you can write nicely. Okay, are you ready? A double S E double S M E and T assessment. You have to underline this one also. Okay, you can use a nice color pencil. So it will good it will give us a good look. After writing the topic and after writing the word assessment, what you have to do is you have to write fill in the blanks. Okay, so in today's assessment, how many blanks we, ha we have here? 10 filling the blanks we are having here. Okay, and this assessment carries 10 marks. So you have to be very careful. Okay, have you written fill in the blanks? Come on, write nicely please. After writing fill in the blanks, please put a full stop here. Then give only three finger space on the same line and just draw a line. As you can see in front of filling the blanks and put 10, digit 10, 1 and 0. So let's move on. We are going to start today's assessment. So very first blank is... You have to uh, and keep it in the mind that you are going to put the numbering of the sentences. Is that clear? Very good. Okay, let's start. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in dash, and here would be the full stop. Okay, so can you tell me that where he was born? He was born in a famous city of Saudi Arabia. But the name of the city, you will guess and you will write here in this blank. Any guess? Yes, you are right. You are going to write the name of the city where Hazrat Muhammad wasallam was born in. I am again repeating this one. So point number one is Hazrat Muhammad wasallam was born in Dash. So here... You have to write down the name of the city where Hazrat Muhammad wasallam was born. I hope I'm clear and I really hope that you have written the answer here. Look at the next one. We are moving. So point number two is or blank number two is people in Arab used to give their dash to nursemaids as a custom. As I told you, my dear students, that in Arab people used to follow the traditions and one of them was that people used to give something to nursemaids as a custom. What was that? Can you tell me? You have to write here in this blank. Okay. People in Arab used to give their dash to nursemaids as a custom. I really hope you know that. Very good. So, I hope you have written it. Have you? Good. And just keep it in the mind. Spellings must be right. Okay. You have to write the right spellings. Have you done the point number two? Great. Moving towards the third point. The villagers used to speak pure and refined dash. So here we are talking about a name of a language. As you remember that the villagers used to speak pure and refined. What? What language they were using? So you have to write the name of the language here. Okay. I hope you are writing nicely. So point number three is. I am repeating again for your is. The villagers used to speak pure and refined dash. Here you have to write down the name of that language the people were using in the villages. Have you done it? Great. Moving forward. Point number four is Hazrat Muhammad Wasallam's mother name was Dash. So what was the name of Hazrat Muhammad Wasallam's mother? I know that it is in your mind. And I really know that you know the spellings as well. Okay. So please write it in the blank. That what was the name of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mother? 
I hope you have written it nicely. Do not forget that whenever we are going to write down any name, so we have to use the capital letter at the first, first okay? As it is a proper noun. I hope you have written nicely. Have you done it? Can we move forward? Great. So this is point number five. Bibi Halima Raziyalatala Anha reached Makkah last as her dash was very weak. Any guess? Yes. You know that she was sitting on an animal. And what was the name of that animal who was very weak because of that? Hazrat Halima Raziyalatala Anha reached Makkah last. Can you tell me? Great, you are right. Please write down the name of that animal in this blank. I am again repeating it for you. Bibi Halima Raziyalatala Anha reached Makkah last as her dash was very weak. Now you have to write down the name of that animal who was very weak and because of whom Hazrat Bibi Halima Raziyalatala Anha reached Makkah at last. I hope you have done it. Please write down the right spellings, okay? Look at the sixth point. Hazrat Dash handed over her son to Bibi Halima Raziyalatala Anha very happily. As you know that Hazrat Bibi Halima Raziyalatala Anha was a nursemaid and a lady gave her baby or son to Hazrat Bibi, uh, Bibi Halima Raziyala Tala Anha. So, who was that? What was the name of that lady? You have to write that name in this blank. Do you know that? Very good. Please write down the name of that lady. Hazrat Dash handed over her son to Bibi Halima Raziyala Tala Anha very happily. Please write down the right word here in this blank. Spellings should be right, okay, and writing should be nice as well. Have you done it? Great. Look at the seventh point. Seventh one is so easy. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a dash child. Now you have to tell that what kind of child Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was. Do you remember? That Hazrat Halima Raziyala Tala Anha, when she was coming back from Makkah to her village, she got so many sign of blessings because of a dash child. So you have to write that specific word here. That what kind of child Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was. I am repeating again this point. Okay. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a dash child. Please write down the right answer or right word here. Have you done it? Spelling should be right. I am telling you again and again. Okay. Have you done it? Great. Now we are moving towards point number 8. Only 3 are left. So point number 8 is the village of the nursemaids become more dash. The village of the nursemaids become more dash. As you know that when Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not in that village, in the village of nursemaids, that village was not very good, was not having much grass or flowers or wheat or grains. But when Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was in that village, so that village become more dash so you have to write the specific word here as we have read this sentence in this chapter okay so that word would be in your mind please write that here and spelling should be right have you done it great the village of the nursemaids become more dash do not forget to put the full stop at the end of the sentence Look at point number 9. 
he sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned to his mother when he was dash years old this is so important and so easy point that do you remember that till what age hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lived with hazrat bibi halima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and when he came back to his mother hazrat bibi amna radhiyallahu ta'ala anha what was the age of him can you tell me yes you are right you have to write that age here and please write in the spellings do not write in the numbers okay write the spellings here okay have you done it that was so easy isn't it i hope you are doing well look at the last point it is the sentence number 10 okay so and it is very easy one as well after the death of hazrat amna radhiyallahu ta'ala anha his peace be upon him dash took over the responsibility of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam my dear students as you remember that first of all hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was living with hazrat bibi halima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha then after that he came back to his mother hazrat amna radhiyallahu ta'ala anha but when she dead what happened who took care of the responsibility of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you have to write it here okay rather he was the uncle or the grandfather or anyone else so you have to write here in this blank is that clear very good i'm going to repeat this again okay to clear it after the death of hazrat amna radhiyallahu ta'ala anha his his mean hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's dash took over the responsibility of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam after completing the sentence do not forget to put the full stop here okay have you done it great now we have done all the 10 points okay so now again i am going to repeat these for you so you can check that if any is left so you can do it okay so today is monday and date is 24th may comma 2021 and today class work you will write in the middle of the line you will write down class work today's topic is the birth of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is your assessment so you will write assessment and then you will underline the topic with your favorite color pencil then you will write fill in the blanks so here we have 10 filling the blanks okay So first one I'm going to read for you Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in Dash Here you have to write that the name of the city Second one is people in Arab used to give their dash to nurse maids as a custom I hope you have done it nicely Third one is the villagers used to speak pure and refined dash here you know that we have to write the name of the language fourth one is hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's mother name was dash so you know that here you have to write down the name of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's mother fifth one is here bibi halima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha reached makka last as her dash was very weak Six one Hazrat Dash handed over her son to Bibi Halima Razila Tala Anha very happily. Seventh one is Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a Dash child. Here you have to write that what kind of child he was. Eighth one the village of the nursemaids become more Dash. You have to write here the specific word. Ninth one is he. sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned to his mother when he was dash years old yes you have to write down the age that how 
uh, sorry that what was the year when he came back to his mother tenth and the last one is after the death of hazrat amna razi allah taala anha his peace be upon him dash took over the responsibility of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so here you have to write down the relationship of that person i hope you have enjoyed the lesson and i really hope that my all dear and intelligent students done the assessment nicely okay and i i really know that you all people are going to get the full marks inshallah so enjoy your time and remember me in your prayers have a good day inshallah allah hafiz